Hi. In this video, we'll see how to quickly check the length of a number. And by the length of a number, I mean the number of digits that make up the number. To check how many digits there are in a number, we can convert the number to a string and then use the len function to check its length. For example, we know that 1000 consists of four digits, one and three zeros. Let's check it out. Len. So first we convert this number to a string and then we check the length of this string and the result is four digits. That's correct. How about this? Five to the power of 1000. Well, this result is converted to a string and then the length is checked and the result is 699. So the result of this calculation consists of almost 700 digits. We can use even very large numbers like for example 5 to the power of 1 million. Let's check it out. 5 to the power of 1 million. Yeah, this takes a bit longer, but we have the result over here. The result of this calculation is almost 700,000 digits long. We must be careful with floats though. Have a look at this. What is the length of the result of 2.5 times 2? 2.5 times 2 equals 5, so it should be one digit, but the result is three digits, because we must remember that when we are multiplying a float by an int, the result is a float, which means this is the result, 5.0. As you can see, not only the true digits are counted here, but also the decimal point. And this is why the result is 3. 1, 2, 3. The problem with floats is that there's a limited precision and the result may be wrong. You can always convert the result to an integer like so. Now we have the integer 2. And now we can check how many digits there are without the fractional part. So what is the actual length of the result of this expression? Well, as we know it should be 1, 1 digit, 5. Let's check it out. Now we use the len function and the string function and the int function to convert the float to an integer. And here we have our expression 2.5 times 2. Yeah, and now the result is one digit. One more example. What is the length? Of the following expression 17.21 times 3.541 2 and this is the number of digits in the integer part the fractional part is not taken into consideration now let's check it out let's copy this and let's see whether in the result there are really only two digits without the fractional part yeah, the result is 60.94 and so on. So here we have two digits in the integer part. Okay, that's it for this video. If you like it, a thumbs up would be great. Also, make sure to subscribe for future videos. If you want to leave a comment or ask a question, you're welcome to do so. Thanks for watching.